children in the U.S. are obese, 40% in the Hispanic community. And parents ask themselves why. Here's the reason. ¿A quién le gusta el chayote? ¿A quién le gusta la piña? Ya que sabe la nieve. What is the main reason children are not eating healthy enough? Main reason we can see is in the lack of choices at home, in the lack of sometimes motivation. We tend parents tend to give up very soon. When our kids say no or when they just don't want to taste a new item, we stop trying. We stop trying. It could take 10 different trials for a child to taste a new food. An easier way? Eat it yourself. Set the example, first of all. Eat healthy in order for us to show our kids that is the right way to eat. Kids eat what we have at home, and we parents have control over what we have in our pantries. So, you know the answer, right? Yes, I'm not saying you're never going to buy um, that special item or that food that the kid wants, a snack. Rico. But we need to have control over one piece or one little item versus a whole package of cookies. But like the parents of Bonaterra Montessori in Chula Vista, California, tried for their kids to eat healthy and some had failed, the question is, are there any tricks to help us parents in this very difficult task? Sometimes we have to be creative in the ways that kids like it. Not specifically grab a whole piece of fruit like an apple, but sometimes, you know, cut mix it, it, mix it up with other fruits. Um, you can spread peanut butter on it. Some uh, may, kids may like it with a little cottage cheese, with um, maybe vegetables. You can add some dip or some cheese over it. You know, so, so just looking for ways, you know. One of the biggest mistakes we parents make is to scare the kids with big portions of veggies. You said we don't have to make them eat a whole plate of broccoli. Correct. It's just what maybe fits in my hand. Right. You know, kids get very scared with large portions, especially when they don't like a food. So we need to just concentrate on one portion at a time, and that is half a cup. Half a cup is what fits in your palm. Um, that is a portion. And if they're able to eat that portion, you're good. Kids should eat two vegetables per day and three fruits. Is it positive to motivate our children to eat their broccoli or their vegetables uh, by us saying, if you finish your plate, I'll give you a candy? Right. You know, you know we, we probably have good results that way. <laughs> But we don't want to um, motivate our kids with candies or with food items in general um, because they will be always thinking that vegetables go hand in hand with that dessert or with that candy. Instead, we should motivate our kids with activities that they like, such as sports, the park, or museums, instead of food. Is it okay to tell them if you eat a lot of, uh, of candies and a lot of cookies and a lot of chips, you'll get fat. Well, kids now are very intelligent. They know about these terms. They hear these terms. And and um, if we talk to them directly, they may be able to grasp the, the idea much better. Always explaining that fat means unhealthy, not ugly, especially with girls. And always, always explain the reason why to them. If they're in a sport, oh, you know what, if you're overweight, well, you mm -hmm. not may, may not be able to run. You might not be able to um, play the whole game like other kids do. So, you know, give them those, those con concepts. Another big problem is what children are drinking. If you have an issue with a child being overweight, look at the beverages first, because all the juices that they may drink uh, may be the number one reason. Why? Um, in a lot of child, a lot of kids, we, they may be drinking instead of water all these juices. That's 200 calories per little glass. So that right there is already an issue. Always what I recommend is 100% fruit juice. Mm -hmm. That's what you have to read on your label, 100%. And um, How preferably many a day? two glasses of a six ounce okay. K size and preferably diluted. Kids eat what you eat, and at school, you have the right to make sure your children are eating healthy meals. For Latina Mom TV, Tania Lubia. Join the Latina Mom TV Talk. Send a YouTube video link or post a comment.